Let me ask you this about, you speak about errors. And as far as Floyd Mayweather, TBE, how do you have him compared in, if he was in another area? And you're very good, you, you know all the fighters from beforehand. How would he do in those different errors? He would do okay. I think he would do well under the circumstances, but he don't fight enough. And the problem is in those other areas. Guy, remember, you can't, see, errors, you can't compare them. You can't compare my era to the 50s or the 40s, 60s. The rules were different. The rounds were different. So I tell people, like, there wouldn't be a Michael Jordan if there wasn't a Dr. J. So don't discount Dr. J, because without Dr. J, there wouldn't be a Michael Jordan. Without a Michael Jordan, there wouldn't be a Kobe Bryant. Hello? Hey, how disrespected are ESPN to make Kobe 40th player in the league? That's disrespectful. He's the best player, maybe number two after. There's a lot, it's West, I like Westbrook. I like a lot of different players on different teams. I think, see, one thing about it, I trained Ocho Cinco, right? I've been training him for four and a half years. And he made a very good statement to me one day. I said, who's the best wide receiver? You know what he said? We all are, people in the NFL, right? Hello? Who's the best fighter? We all are, we world champions. Hello? We're just different. It's like, it's like a bowl of fruit. There's a grape, there's a peach, there's a plum, there's a kiwi, there's all different things in there, right? So they're not one better than the other, it's all preference. If you ask him, who's his favorite fighter? Him's favorite fighter. Him? Every, I can see The Rock. <laughs> everybody's got a different favorite fighter, right? Even me. Who's the greatest fighter? My favorite fighter is Matthew Saab Muhammad, Jeff, Jeff Chandler. I watch Sugar Ray. Sugar Ray's like number three, right? So that's my opinion, right? Opinions are like behind those. Everybody got one. So I think like this. Before it comes up the best ever, the, you can't call yourself the best ever. Your people got to name you the best ever. I never said I was the greatest or the best. The public says that, okay? You never name yourself. You let the public do it for you. It sounds arrogant and cocky, right? Because at the end of the day, now people who call yourself the best ever, they're gonna critique you. Is Roy better than Floyd? Yeah, to me he was. Why do you think that? Why? Because he, because the fight with Pacquiao didn't happen right away. Mm -hmm. The best fighter goes out like what Glavikin's doing. And he challenges everybody. He doesn't pick his fights or choose his fights. He fights the best in the world. Who you think, like when I was coming up, Whoever you thought could beat me, that's what I fought. I love the guy said to me, oh, that guy can beat you. Oh, really? And I fought, even if it was no money, I fought the guys. And I, I, matter of fact, when I fought Troy Dorsey, I paid him part of my purse to fight him. And I made less money, and I was the champion. And we went 12 rounds and broke the Guinness Book of World Records, most punches ever thrown, 2,006 punches thrown. And I mean, to me, that's what fight is supposed to do. How long did you have a headache after that fight? I still feel the punches to this day.